what is going on guys what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so in this video today i'm going to be showing you how you can make money trading the spot market so the idea behind trading the spot market is about buying a coin low so that when the coin rises up you sell high on a particular exchange either on binance or bybit or pretty much any crypto exchanges out there that has liquidity i'll leave a recommended link down in the description below but for the aspect of this video we are going to be using the binance exchange to demonstrate and carry out this strategy out effectively so we can actually see how profitable is going to look like so without further ado let's quickly dive in and let me break down how you can actually use this strategy out the right way okay so if you are coming across the channel for the first time you know what is up make sure you smash the like button we come out with video like this every single week so make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll pretty much see you in the inside but for the aspect of this video we are going to be using the binance exchange and for the matter of fact this particular strategy i'm going to be showing you doesn't require you to be looking at a lot of charts and you know monitoring the move of the market is simply by identifying the coin that is about to be listing on binance because apparently if you go to this other coin right here this coin was listed on binance a couple of days back the coin is called osmos okay so when this coin was listed on binance when you head over to the chat section so we can see how the you know the chat started up so when you go to the chat section and we change this to four hour time frame okay i'm going to show you something in a second how this coin was behaving before it got listed on binance because apparently once the coin is listed on binance there is no hundred percent guarantee that the coin is going to keep pumping it's my dorm and later came back up to pump so that is why it's very you know very advisable to always pay attention to coin when it's being listed on binance this coin was initially trading around 1.04 on majority of the exchanges out there but when binance eventually put this coin into consideration that is what made this huge pump to about 1.788 so when binance eventually announced the listing this is where the coin closes from and start retracing and start coming back down so it is not when binance eventually announce the listing that a coin is going to pump there is no 100 percent guarantee that the coin is going to pump at that moment because 70 percent of the time when the coin is being listed on binance it normally retraces back down before it can actually make a huge pump so i'm going to be showing you how you can actually identify the right moment that the coin is going to pump because most of the time when the coin is being listed on binance because binance is one of the prominent exchange is out there with a good liquidity so when binance eventually find out that this project is a nice project they will take it into consideration and eventually announce a listing so apparently when binance eventually put those kind of coin into consideration that is what made this huge pump to the upside okay so when they finally announce the listing the coin will eventually start retracing so keep in mind that this coin might have already made a huge pump the moment Binance eventually took the coin into consideration. So Binance will eventually keep the consideration to themselves. They will not announce it publicly. Okay. But for the aspect of my next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually identify the coin that Binance will eventually put those coins to consideration for a possible listing so if you had known that binance will eventually put this coin into consideration you would have buy it on different exchanges that was trading on previously like bybit get.io kucoin so that when binance eventually announced the listing the coin would have already made a huge bomb before it even got listed on binance so that is the whole point there about the scenario so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually buy coin like this for the huge pump because apparently if you take a look at this coin it was still retracing back down before eventually make a huge pump of about one thousand percent 
in just a couple of days so it was initially trading around one dollar when it finally came back down to retraces and eventually make a huge bump to about 12.50 so in this video i'm going to be showing you the idea and the right strategy to use to get into coin like this when it's about listed on binance okay when binance eventually announced the listing so i'm going to be heading over to trading view now so once a coin is being listed on binance you head over to trading view and you plot out your rsi and rsi is by default don't change anything on the rsi so that's the rsi we are going to be using to demonstrate in this part of the video so make sure you take note of that and there is no other thing that i've added apart from the rsi so this is where the coin was before it got listed so when binance took the coin to consideration it went as high as 1.76 so from there you don't need to buy the coin from there you need to wait for retracement so for the retracement we are going to still wait so when the coin retraces we are waiting for what we call divergence so this way the pump you know happen so before then if you spot a divergent that is what is going to make a huge pump in the coin so let me show you real quick how this strategy work so you can see obviously here that when this coin was here it was actually created a lower low it created a lower low here so when the price moved forward it now created another lower low this low right here is actually lower than this but on the rsi what do we see we saw a low on the rsi instead of rsi to still created a lower low the rsi was basically creating higher lows so that shows something called divergent so once you spot that divergent you are going to apply something called dca so once you spot that divergent immediately they about this 97 cents there is no an objective place that you need to spot the divergent you can pretty much spot this divergent in any place around the chart so even if the divergence happens around here you would have also implement the dca so like this one you see right here you see when the price was here this is a low and when the market finally broke down this is a lower low but when you look at the rsi what do we had here we had a low here but instead of rsi to still create a lower low it was creating higher lows so that's the same thing here so once you spot that divergence you apply something called dca dca is is about buying it bit by bit so if you have like a thousand dollar for an instance once you spot that divergent you put in immediately you spot that divergent you put in 50 percent of your capital that is 500 dollar you buy 500 dollar yeah so when the market start dipping more you buy there because most of the time the smart money guys wouldn't really tell you the real zone that they want to spike the coin from so that's why you need to apply something called dca so you can actually dollar cost average on to when the pump is going to happen so when this dump came back down you need to also put in another 500 dollar but if eventually the coin spike up don't go ahead and put another money there just be contented with that money you put in the first time you dollar cost average but if it finally break through down and see created another lower low lower than the one you bought from you need to also put in another 500 dollar so that's the case here so at this point they don't the divergence was here you put in when the price came back down it created another lower low you put in another 500 dollar here so at this zone already the price would have pumped over 1000 percent so that's the idea behind the strategy so for the aspect of a case study a lifetime case study a life example case study of what i meant by when a coin is being listed on binance you need to wait for a divergence before actually getting into the coin so right now this other coin was announced today as of the time of making this video 22 february this coin was eventually announced a couple of hours back and when the announcement came the coin might have already made a huge pump like this like i told you initially so right now is not a good time of getting into the coin because already it was 
previously trading around 98 cents when binance took the coin to consideration and eventually announced the list the listing rather the coin might have already made a huge pump to 1.88 cents about this time so right now is about looking for divergence on the four hour time frame you can even look for the divergence on the one hour time frame depending on how aggressive you want to be for me personally i'm going to be waiting for a possible divergence like i told you initially when you head over to trading view and look for that divergence like i showed you earlier then when the divergence happens at that moment the divergence is happening you dollar cost average you buy it at that first point you spotted the divergence and when it still created another lower low you still dollar cost average until you wait for the huge pump because apparently this coin is going to make a huge pump to the upside once you spot the divergence and your dollar cost average in my next video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually identify coin that is being considered that is going to be considered listed on binance so we can actually know how we can catch this big move because most of the time when coin like this is being considered listed on binance most of this most of those exchanges is going to still trade the coin so you need to buy it on those exchanges and wait for the huge pump for the announcement once the announcements happen already the coin has already pumped a lot before the announcement so that is what i'm going to be showing you in the next video so make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video bye for now